Hey, how's it going? Remember how I said today's video would be different? Alright, so check it out. I'm here with my villagers. This guy, who's been standing here for some time now, I, I finally gave him a job. So check it out. My end armor, right? It's got a leecher wings built into it, so my cape looks like But other than that, I can now fly around ow, ow, all over the place. No problem, no given. And I will quite literally never run out of fireworks. Uh, I mean, I can I technically could, I guess, if I tried hard enough. So anyways, between this guy, oh, so between this guy here, and, uh, the farmer guy here, and the brewing man here, so the farmer will give me pumpkin pie, that is going to be very imperative for today's mission, and this guy, uh, has bottle-o enchanting, which will also be very imperative for today's mission. Oh yeah, and this guy also has a chance to sell shulker boxes. That's pretty tight. Today's mission, we gotta head back to the starter base. And I gotta find... Uh... Okay, I'm back and my audio is fixed and also I see more bats. All right, I'm gonna go get these bats right now. Just as easy as one click and click. Literally, just like that. It's just that easy. So check it out. Shift, right click, bam, bat menu. So this, I actually have, oh yeah, I put my bank box down somewhere. I have no idea what I did with it. Anyways, I just so happened to have come across all this stuff while, I mean, just playing the game. Uh, admittedly, I have no idea what the hell a spirit shard is for. But we're just gonna go ahead and just, just get all this stuff out. So check this out. Where, where's this bat? Uh, shift, right click. So we're gonna put on this duelist costume. Uh, and it gives your bat the ability to kick all sorts of ass. It gives them the ability to combo attack, block attack, and counter attack. Bam. Now that bat has that armor. Like, for real. Look at him. He's got like a little... Oh, it's so adorable. How can you not like this? All right, so check this out. So you have this pumpkin pie here. So you have pumpkin pie, that's how you uh, catch them or whatever. And you give them a bottle of enchanting. Huh. Boom. Okay. Bottle of enchanting, pumpkin pie. And you get this weird uh, level up pile enchanting. So let's see here. Where'd he, where'd he go? What? Where'd he go? Where's my little... Where's my bat buddy? Oh! I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, a little bit of that. Now he's gonna go up, because they have levels. I can just level them normally, but this is essentially like rare candy to him. Uh, and the outfit he has gives him a class that can reach a maximum level. Right? There you go. Now he just gained the block attack ability. So, if I were to, say, take this outfit off, uh, the bat in question would still be level 8. It would still have 10 HP, doing 3 attack damage, uh, and it just happens to have the permanent ability to block attacks. I'm going to give him his little, uh, his little suit back now, though. So essentially speaking, while I do have two backup bats, uh, oh, ooh, ooh, wait a minute. I'm going to make sure I'm not getting snuck up on by creepers or nothing here. Not like they can kill me anyways, but anyways. Bam, and he's gonna, he's the ninja bat now, just like that. I'm gonna, give him, I'm gonna give him some, even though I don't, uh... Oh, you know what? Actually, if I were to give this suit, uh... To my other bat, and then level him up, he would gain, eventually, the ability to do a sneak attack, as well as his, uh... His other, whatever it is, combat, whatever, where'd he go? Counter-attack? Yeah. And then if I put that suit back on, he could combo attack, block attack, counter-attack, and eventually also sneak attack. Or if I, if I give them his suit, he'll have teleport, increase attack, sneak attack, and counter attack. Ugh. Was it counter attack or... wait. Well, you get the... it's it's great. It's fantastic. So Alright, so check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. We're gonna take, uh... Oh, 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 God. 
Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I can do this. This is so cool. Bam. Okay, I got my bat out. And then we need the flute, which is here. And we want it to be attack. So we're going to aim it at that. And it'll just straight up start attacking it. Oh, oh, ooh. Okay, so I might want to get, start getting on some potions. Uh, I wonder if I can just feed them pumpkin pie to heal them. Yeah, of course you can. Okay, great. I shouldn't have to worry about walking away too far, because if you do that, or whatever, you know, you get too far, they just kind of come back right up to their... Which is uh, just right back. It's easy. It's super great. We're going to make sure I don't forget this. I've already lost one uh, shulker box. I need to make sure I don't lose another one. Oh, a target. Yeah, I don't mind if I do. Hey, buddy. How, how close do I have to get to you? There it is. Go get them, boys. <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 sh did it actually died? Or can I just heal it? Oh no. Oh man. Oh man, that's rough. That is rough. Did I, it actually died, huh? No, it didn't. Yeah, okay, great. They're still alive. <laughs> Alright, so check this out. It's actually really adorable. We're gonna take some pumpkin pie here. I'm gonna throw it. Uh, get away, thank you. And then we call out our bat. And then and then it's good to go! Well, I mean, yeah, there it is. So we throw out, throw out some pumpkin pie, call out the bat, and then it's good to go. Yeah! <laughs> so adorable, I love it. Companion bats are easily the best thing in the game right now. All right, I got a companion bat, and I can literally teleport back home anytime I need to. So we're just gonna go straight, actually, just just straight out there looking for good stuff. It's the hard knock life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. You know, I have no idea exactly what I did with uh, my little bank box, but man, I love how easy it is to get stuff in Gobbercore. You know what I mean? Seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh, he already did it. Oh, I, I uh, well, I mean, he leveled up. That's fine. Try not to overdo it. That way I can uh, save all the experience for giving them class level ups, since, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of screwing around as I go. And I really like this. So there's also these things up here that, grub, grub, that grant special additional abilities. I might have to screw around with this later and make it into an actual video for it. Because this is... It's really neat. I like it. I should have been doing this a lot, a lot earlier. So let's see. This flute, by the way, if I shift and right click, we'll change it. So now, the bat will simply, uh, now the bat will simply rest. Yeah, there you go. I already have like over an hour of footage. What have I even accomplished? The bats don't even attack them? I can make a bat attack another bat. Yeah! <laughs> bat on bat violence. Oh my god. Can you believe how amazing bats are now? Like, they have use and are fun. And if you give them a bundle, which I surprisingly haven't made in this entire God or playthrough, they will, they'll, they'll pick up items for you and bring it to you. They don't actually hold anything in the bundle. It's literally just used to pick the item up and bring it to you to drop it off and like near you to go in your inventory. Uh, and that's basically it, honestly. The bats are amazing. They are adorable. They have little costumes that even show up on them and all their little accessories. It's great.
And that is where I'm going to be leaving it off today. Because uh, I can. <laughs> <laughs>